Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to perform a Shapiro-Wilk normality test in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data that we can create with the lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that at the top right of RStudio two new vector objects appear which are called x1 and x2 and both of these vector objects contain numeric values. Now in the first step of this video I'm going to draw these data to a density plot to show the basic structure of our data and we can do that by running lines 6 to 8 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that at the bottom right of RStudio a new density plot has been created and as you can see our first vector object x1 indicated by the red line is following approximately a normal distribution and the second vector object x2 is not following a normal distribution at all. So if we want to perform a Shapiro-Wilk test to confirm our graphical illustration. And then we can apply the Shapiro.test function as you can see in line 10 of the code. And in this line of code I'm applying the Shapiro test function to our first vector object x1. So if you run this line of code you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console some output has been created and the most important value that has been returned by this output is the p-value. And as you can see the p-value for the Shapiro test is larger than 0.05 in this case and this indicates that our first vector object x1 is following a normal distribution. However, let's apply the Shapiro.test function to our second vector object as well, as you can see in line 12 of the code. So all I'm changing here is the input vector to which I'm applying the Shapiro.test function. So if you run line 12 of the code, you can see that another output is created at the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, the p-value of this Shapiro test is much smaller than 0.05. And for that reason, the results of our Shapiro test indicate that our second vector object is not normally distributed. So in this video, I have explained how to perform a Shapiro-Wilk normality test in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new tutorials to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.